Hello, and welcome to the VoiceOver IP module demonstration. Today, we're going to be going over VoiceOver IP and Odoo and how it's going to benefit you and your company. Once you've installed the VoiceOver IP module, you'll notice that there is a phone icon at the top of your screen. Once you click on that phone icon, it'll pop up the VoiceOver IP box in the bottom left of your screen. There, you can see all of your recent phone calls, if you have any activities scheduled, and all of your contacts as well. And then down at the bottom of the box, you can see a keypad button that if you click on, you can enter in a phone number to dial and call. For the sake of this demonstration, we're going to see what happens when you receive a phone call. And look there, it looks like we're receiving a phone call now, so let's go ahead and answer it. Once you've answered that phone call, you'll notice that there's a few buttons that you can click on for your call. This one is to transfer. This one is to mute your mic. But then this button right here in the middle is the most important of all. It's where you can create a new customer. You'll notice that this phone number has not in our contact list as of right now. So we'll go ahead and click on this button and it will take us to our customer contact card. We've gone ahead and added some crucial information like the customer's name, their address, and a phone number that they're calling from. But as you can see, there is so much more you can do with this customer information. You could go ahead and add any sales and purchasing information as well as accounting information if you needed to. And you can add in some internal notes as well. While you're on the phone with them, if they wanted to give you their credit card information for this purchase or future purchases, you could go ahead and add it right here on their contact card. You'll notice at the top that there are other buttons that you can click on as well, but since this is a new customer, they won't have any information up here. But as you can see, you can see if you have any meetings with that customer, any opportunities with that customer, any sales orders, purchases, on-time deliveries, invoices, or any vendor bills as well. And there are more options also. For now, we're just going to go ahead and click save on this customer contact information. And we'll go back to the voiceover IP box where we can go ahead and just end this phone call with our new customer. And it looks like that new customer is now calling back, but you can see that their contact information is listed. So let's go ahead and answer. You'll see now that the voiceover IP box looks slightly different. Now you'll have an extra option to send them an email or you can also schedule an activity with them. So we're going to go ahead and click on that button. And we're going to go ahead and schedule a meeting with them. We can open up our calendar. And we'll go ahead and schedule a meeting with them later this afternoon. And it's as easy as that. And now we'll go back to the phone call and we'll click on the customer card button. The meeting doesn't show up just yet. But what we can do is also click on this opportunity button and it will take us to our CRM module. We'll click on new and we'll just go ahead and add a new opportunity. And what we can do here as well is we can see this phone call icon right here. And if we see that green plus button, we'll go ahead and add to call queue and you'll see it changed to red. So let's go look at the voice over IP box again. We'll go out of this phone call and we'll see that that customer contact information is there in our recents. But we'll click on next activity and we'll see that we have an opportunity with John Doe. We can click on that opportunity. We can see that we can send an email, look at their customer contact card again, look at their lead or opportunity, or schedule another activity with them. But for this particular activity, we can also mark it as done, cancel it, or edit it. But we'll just go ahead and mark this one as done. And now we're going to go back to the call and click on that customer contact card again. And we're going to go up here to sales and we're going to click on that and we're going to create a new sales order straight from this screen while we're on the phone call with our customer. And once you click on new quotation, it's going to already fill out this customer information while you're on the phone with them so that you don't have to go searching for it. This makes it super simple for you to send your quotation to your customer and get everything filled out correctly while you're on the phone with them. And you can do the same thing if you're purchasing from a vendor or if you have any deliveries out for that particular customer or vendor. And then you can look at their invoices and vendor bills as well, like I already stated. So let's go ahead and save this. And that is going to be the voice over IP demonstration within Odoo. If you have any questions, please be sure to reach out to Bluemax Partners and we will assist you in any way that we can. Thank you. Have a good one.